Before you start tuning the guitar, first you need to know what notes to tune it to. And for that, I use a very easy mnemonic. There are a lot of them, but my favorite is, every aardvark drinks green beer easily. Once again, every aardvark drinks green beer easily. Labeling them from the big string to the little string, every E, aardvark, A, drinks, D, green, G, beer, B, easily. For those of you underage, it can be root beer, although that starts with an R. It's good to know these for two reasons. If you're using a keyboard to tune to, then you'll know the right note to push down on the keyboard. If you're using a tuner, uh, you have to watch and make sure you're tuning to the right note on the tuner. My favorite tuner these days is a stomp pedal called the Boss Chromatic Tuner. It's very handy. Notice it goes right in with the rest of my pedals in the pedal board. And it goes in first and it mutes it while you tune it. So you could be standing on stage, even in the middle of a song, mute the guitar, glance down and tune it. The lights are very bright. The display is very easy to see. Uh, it's a handy thing. Uh, it costs about the same as other stomp boxes. Um, I misremember. I think I paid about $80 for it, $90 for it. Uh, it's worth it. If you don't want to lay out the money for that, there are a whole lot of uh, inexpensive tuners. This one is by Quick Tune. It's no advertisement, it's just one I happen to have found at some point. It's small, it's portable, again, it's easy to see, and it's fairly easy to use. It helps to know how to use a tuner as well. Though it's not automatic, it doesn't really have a brain. Uh, it can't tell what you're trying to tell it unless you show it right. So, here's how you use a tuner. Okay, notice that this tuner has our mnemonic right on it. Every aardvark drinks green beer easily. We're going to tune the easily. I want to use the electric guitar, which you notice plugs directly into the tuner. Most of them will do this. And play the note. This light shows that it's flat or under pitch or too loose. Uh, if it was this light, then that would mean it was a little bit too tight and above the pitch higher. What you want is this green light and only the green light. Notice you also have a little line that goes across here. The old style tuners used to have a VU meter, an electrical device that would show whether it was flat or sharp. And some of them still have that. Okay, so now I'm going to use my tuners to change the tension on the string and raise the pitch since I appear to be flat. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Now notice how the tuner got confused for a second and thought we were playing A because it was so low. That's one reason why it's important to know which the name of the string that you're tuning. Leave the string ringing. Don't let the string die. The tuner, if the tuner can't hear it, if there's no signal, then it won't tune it. But if you go, that can mess things up too with some tuners. Higher. Now we're turning the tuning key really slow because we're close. Almost there. And there it is. After you get the E string in tune, then you want to repeat that with the, all the other five other strings until they're all in tune, at least according to the tuner. Uh, another way of tuning your guitar is by a relative pitch. You uh, find a pitch that you're confident in, like my pitch pipe here. And just compare the two notes and uh, uh, it's in tune when they sound the same. An electronic keyboard is a very good source of this since they almost never go out of tune. Another way of tuning your guitar, if you have one string in tune, or if you're only playing by yourself, is the relative string method. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a finger and place it on the fifth fret, one, two, three, four, or just the second dot, on the low E string. If your guitar is in tune, the fifth string should be the same note as the E string on the fifth fret. And it also works with the fifth string and the fourth string, and then the fourth string and the third string. And then the third string, the second string. Okay, that doesn't work. You have to slide down on the third string, which is when it's supposed to be the same as the second string. And then back up to the fifth fret for the second and first strings. Uh, again, if it's not the same note, then you just adjust the tuners until it is. Tuning is a crucial part of any musical endeavor, whether you're singing, playing guitar by yourself, playing in a band, you want everything to be in tune, it'll sound better, it works better. It takes time to perfect even using a tuner, so be patient with it. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or email us here at More Than Guitar. And thank you very much.